What is up guys? Today we're going to be looking at my three favorite plugins on Photoshop. How's it guys? How are you guys doing? It's so nice to see you all again. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at my three favorite plugins for Photoshop. Now I get this question a lot mostly during live streams because when I'm busy editing people are like how did you do that or um, how can I do that? So today I'm going to actually show you guys the plugins that I use to actually do the type of retouch editing that I do. So full disclaimer, I'm not making any money. I'm not sponsored or endorsed by any of these plugin companies. I just use them myself. This is my personal list. I have paid full price for these plugins myself and I use them on a daily basis and I think they are good. Also to be noted, these plugins only work in Photoshop and they work on Mac and Windows. So that is great for both Mac and Windows users. Also all of these plugins come at a price. None of them are free, but they are definitely worth the price. So with that all said and done, let's jump into it and let me show you guys my favorite three plugins. So in no particular order, we're going to start off with number one. Now, number one is a color grading plugin made by Pratik Naik. It is called Infinite Color or Infinite Color Panel. It is a really awesome plugin. It definitely solves a issue if for somebody who doesn't know how to do color grading, that somebody that doesn't understand color science. It's a great plugin. I use it pretty much on all my photos, mostly just to get a base going so that I can tweak it from there, just to give me a little bit of direction and also allow me to see a little bit more um, different varieties of color grades. So Infinite Color Panel kind of works more like a randomizer. You can't at this point in time pick if you want to choose a warm color tone or a cool color tone. You kind of have to just click the button and it will randomly generate a new color grade for you. But this is also cool because it allows you to see different versions of a color grade on the same photo. So you get to see different color grading done on the same photo and not just focus on one path. Maybe see what else works. So the infinite color panel kind of works like a randomizer. You kind of click the button and then you see what happens. It generates a random color grade for you. And this is actually pretty cool because it allows you to see different color grades done on the same image, giving you an idea of which directions you can take this photo. But if you guys want a more in-depth video about it, go check out on my channel. I've already done a video on infinite color panel, but if you guys want a really in-depth video about the infinite color panel, definitely leave a comment down below and I can make that happen. Now, something that most of you are wondering about, but what does this cost? So at the point in time of recording this, this currently costs $129. Now, this is a once-off fee, so you buy it, you own it, it's done. This is the most expensive color panel on the list, but it is definitely worth it. And like I said, all of these color panels I do use on a daily basis. And now for number two. Now, number two is called MBP FreakSep Control. Now this is probably the plugin that I use the most currently because it helps me do skin smoothening and some retouching. Now MBP FreakSep Control is definitely a very powerful plugin if you guys are looking at getting it and getting into retouching and skin smoothing. This is a more portrait orientated plugin, but it can be used for other things. But most people I know using it, use it for portraits. Now kind of what this plugin does, it's kind of a shortcut for you to do frequency separation. It allows you to kind of get to the steps much quicker just by going into the plugin and selecting the amount of detail you want and amount of softness you want in the picture. And then it will create separate layers for you to kind of tweak on and edit and get that super smooth skin look that most retouchers get. Now, if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial about MBP FreakSip Control, I'll definitely do that. Just leave a comment down below and we'll make that happen. Also, if you want to see it, how I use it in one of my professional retouching sessions, then definitely go check out my live streams. They, I use it all the time and it's a really awesome tool. But for the question you guys want me to answer, how much does this plugin cost? Now, currently at the time of filming this, this is the cheapest plugin that you can buy. It comes at $35. That's also a once-off payment. So you buy it and you own it. And now for number three. Now, number three, I will definitely say is one of the plugins that if you are starting out with retouching and you kind of want to not spend all the money at once, I definitely would recommend looking at this one. Now, this plugin is made by Retouch Academy. It's called the Beauty Retouch Panel. Now, this is a very powerful panel that it kind of includes a lot of the functions that you need for retouching. Pretty much has them all already. Now, this one I would definitely recommend for beginners. If you are getting into retouching and you don't know what to spend your money on just yet and you don't want to spend a ton of money right now, definitely go check out the Retouch Academy's Beauty Retouch Panel. Now, what's cool about this panel, it already includes shortcuts and actions to dodging and burning, frequency separation, general editing in the areas like face, makeup, and hair, also quality control, and 
your own customizable shortcut buttons on there so you don't have to go searching in your action panels for whichever action you've created. Now this is definitely a one-stop shop in my opinion for anybody who's starting out retouching and to be honest if MBP didn't do such a great job at frequency separation I probably would only be using the Retouch Academy's beauty retouch panel. Now again, like I've said in all of them so far, and you're probably tired of hearing this, if you guys want to see me do a full tutorial on the Beauty Retouch panel, I'll definitely do that if you leave a comment down below. I'll probably do it anyway, just for fun. But definitely leave that comment though. But now for the question you guys are probably asking and waiting for me to answer is how much is the beauty retouch panel? Michael, get the fuck to it. Now currently on the date of filming this, this is currently the mid-range priced one. Okay. This comes at a $69 for the whole thing, once off payment and they update it regularly and you have access to the updates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it because this is kind of something that is a little bit more true to me and not me reviewing or coming up with crazy crap. This is just something that I actually use as a professional. So if you guys did enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. If you guys didn't, the thumbs down works just as well. I don't know. Um, also, leave a comment down below if you guys have any other plugins that I have not covered here or that I don't know of maybe. It would be awesome to experiment with some new plugins. But also if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. There's a lot more of these type of videos coming in the future and I do a lot of live streams if you guys want to catch that and see how to edit more professionally and ask me more questions directly. And if you guys aren't familiar where the subscribe button is, it's down below is a red one or if you are subscribed is gray but then if it, you are subscribed, thank you very much. But with that all said and done, I am finished with selling myself so yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.